Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for February 2023. We're going to jump right in here, Aquarius. And you start off here in your current general energies with this concentration card in this resourcefulness card. I mean, it is a time of where I think that we all need to be very resourceful. Like my first thought, if, if I were you doing something like starting a business or whatever, it wouldn't be like, how can I um, use money to do this? <laughs> it would be like, how can I be resourceful? And how can I use my brain, the ace of swords? How can I use my thoughts or my words to um, you know, create something very successful in my life? And it's also not about not using money, right? It's about just, again, being resourceful and making sure that whatever you're doing, that you're doing it for uh, the right reasons, but also that you're using resources that maybe you wouldn't traditionally use, right? So again, maybe you wanna start a business and maybe you could get it funded by other people. Maybe you want to get into a relationship and maybe you normally lead with your stunning good looks, Aquarius, which I'm sure you're all very good looking. You're watching this channel. Only attractive people watch Mino Pontero. It's a fact. So, you know, maybe that's what you normally use, but maybe now you're kind of like shining your inner light or something like that. So again, I would be resourceful. Uh, you have the Eight of Pentacles, so concentration is clearly gonna be very important for you. I think this year, it would be really good for you to break things down, like focusing on one thing at a time for a certain amount of time. Uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of me. I don't know, I'm a, I'm a scatterbrain, right? I'm a Pisces, typical. So what I would say is when I work on projects, I really force myself to dedicate myself to that project for a certain amount of time. Every single morning I wake up, drink, chug a gallon of coffee, and then I start these readings, right? And um, when I'm doing these readings, I cut out all other distractions. I only focus on these readings. Then after I go distract myself and go work on other projects. But what I would say here is I kind of feel this is that. I feel like it's saying you need to have laser-like focus on the things that you want to see be successful. Ace of Swords. You know, Ace of Swords is my card of laser-like focus. It is a card of cutting things out as well. This palm frond right here represents a sacrifice. You have this olive branch over here, which represents abundance, but it's also a card that's in balance. So obviously we can only concentrate on things for so long, right? <laughs> so, you know, again, if you think you're gonna be concentrated on something for eight hours a day, it's probably not gonna happen, right? So give yourself breaks, be kind to yourself, right? Sometimes I just need to go rot my brain. Like recently I rewatched, um, what's that show? Stranger Things, right? Because I don't know, sometimes I think too much, right? And so I think rotting your brain every once in a while, as long as it's not dominating your life, is like a good thing, just kind of zoning out and doing nothing. Sometimes we need that, but we need to do it in balance. And the Ace of Swords that has those six golden yachts on either side of the sword, and it just represents doing things in balance. I do also feel like there could be some sort of truth coming out. I say that because we have the Hermit, but we also go down to the Eight of Swords. This really tells me the truth will set you free, which I feel like I said to you in one of your recent readings, I don't think you're necessarily telling the truth to anyone but yourself. It's like if you are if you have a job that you hate, you're not telling yourself the truth. <laughs> if you have a uh, business that you hate, you are not telling yourself the truth. If you're in a relationship that you hate, you are not telling yourself the truth. And by the way, this does not mean that you have to leave these situations. It just says, how could you fall in love with this situation? Reminds me of a story of like uh, Zig Ziglar, uh, who is, you know, if you don't know, was a famous kind of motivational guy, right? He tells a story all the time about a lady, there you go, um, who hated her job. And she came to him and, and gave him all these reasons why she hated it. He said, okay, go to your job base. I'm paraphrasing here, but he said, go look for only good things, even if you have to say, oh, I like Janice's shoes or something like that. And, um, you know, so she started looking only for the good things, not at all the things that were wrong. And she totally turned her job around, got raises, got promotions, everything, and really ended up loving her job. So sometimes I think just it is mental, it's our mind that is controlling that. I say that because Queen of Cups is about nurturing something. And that's what I'm getting on that Queen of Cups. It's almost like you need to focus more on that nurturing um, positive side, um, especially this month. You have the judgment card here. Mm, you're waking up to something. You're waking up to a situation that you need to leave or a situation where you need to maybe go in a new direction. You know, he's kind of gotten everything he can out of something, the two of wands. I don't wanna skip too far ahead here, but the story of him is that he rushed to a finish line and now he's kind of like, I like I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I, I didn't get anything that I wanted. And he's kind of looking out at the world and he's saying like, what do I do now? But he has the whole world in his hands and you literally have the world with one of my favorite cards right here, this Treasure Island card. It kind of says you can have whatever you want, but I think you need to wake up to 
kind of maybe some opportunities. And again, maybe you have to train your brain to see those opportunities. Maybe you have to um, be more positive or maybe you have to start small and start saying, I like Janice's shoes, right? Maybe that's the only thing you can grab onto, but um, as ridiculous as it sounds, I think it'll work. With the Ace of Swords, you have the Queen of Pentacles here. You know, this is a card of resourcefulness. Literally, you have that resourcefulness card. So uh, I would be as resourceful as you possibly can be, but it does look like you could be increasing your finances. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, you have the King of Wands. Uh, King of Wands is a card of being bold, being assertive, really going for what you want. He's also like a, he really nurtures things into existence, as I always say. You know, to me, he is a card of like taking care of something as if it were a child, like really, really um, putting your nurturing energy into something that you are working on. If you do that, you will be successful. And that's what I would do here. With the Judgment card, you have the Six of Wands. A lot of success, a lot of achievements coming in for you. Some of you could be waking up to an achievement that you want, that you kind of want to have, like a big goal, wish, or dream. Especially because, again, because of this, to the world, the world is a big achievement. So it kind of looks to me like some of you could be developing some new dreams, some big dreams that you're hoping to have at this time. Uh, you got three cards here. You have this uh, heart card that says love, new love on it. This envelope that says unfolding surprise. And you have this rabbit, which says pregnancy fears. I would be careful of getting pregnant. The other thing, you know, obviously if you're 70, I don't need to know. I, I like, I understand that you can't have children. This part of the message is not for you. You have the queen of pentacles. She normally has a rabbit on the queen of pentacles, which represents fears, but she's focusing on that pentacle that she's holding on to. So I would ignore the fears that you could be having. You know, fears are false evidence appearing real. Your fears might not even be real. And I would focus on the resources you have and what you can do with what you got right now. Uh, this is the area of the unexpected, by the way. So again, I would be careful of unexpected pregnancies, but I do feel like there could be a surprise in love. There could be like a soulmate coming in for you here. Six of Cups, Ace of Cups to the world. I mean, this is like literally an accomplishment in love. And it, Six of Cups is not really someone from the past. You know, I always say, I don't know where this past stuff comes from. If you read any old tarot books about the Six of Cups, it says, do not go back to the past. It says, do not get stuck in nostalgia. So it's a card of thinking of, about the past, but it says, don't get stuck in the past. Um, but really it's a card of soulmates. So I do feel there's like a soulmate that could be coming in for you here. I also would say that there's like freedom coming in for you. Eight of Swords is being stuck, but the Six of Cups can be a gift from the universe. And the gift we get from the Six of Cups is usually kind of like a turnaround where we've been bumping up against an obstacle like the Eight of Swords and then we're set free. You also have the Eight of Pentacles here. So I feel for some of you, there could be a great improvement in your finances if you are hoping to improve your finances, of course. There's like a lot of abundance coming in for you here as well with the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, I also feel a lot of success here. So a lot of you could be improving on your successes. Um, and that those words are really popping into my head, improving on your successes. It's like you've already had some successful things in your life maybe. And it's almost as if you're multiplying them. You know, maybe you're working on a successful business or maybe you've had some small successes and I would put the work into them because I think you are going to be duplicating your success basically with this Eight of Pentacles. You have the Hermit here. Uh, the Hermit is about having gone through like a dark night of the soul. So I think that some of you are coming out of a difficult period of time and you're like shining your shining your inner light. Again, the most important thing I would say here is that, uh, and maybe it's not unexpected. I think you just don't realize it is that Eight of Pentacles. If I were you, I basically am an Aquarius rising, I would be working on the things that have worked in the past and I would be like duplicating them, but I would also be updating them. You know, again, I, I'm a big fan of the 80-20 rule and this isn't really the 80-20 rule, but whatever works. Let's say, let's just pretend you had a YouTube channel, just an example. Maybe you had a successful video in the past. It's like, take that channel, make it 80% the, the same, do 20% do something different because I feel like, you know, Pluto going into Aquarius innovation is going to be rewarded, but it also could create another success. With the Hermit, you have the Queen of Cups here. So you have the Queen of Cups twice. You're definitely very focused on your heart. Uh, I would say uh, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, Three of Cups. Ace of Cups is your heart. It is your kind of like your emotions overflowing, being very happy. And that's what I would be focusing on is good stuff. <laughs> With the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Death card, definitely a transformation. You're transforming something. Uh, I like this card as well because the two pillars from the moon normally show up in the background of the Death card and the sun is coming up between those two pillars. So it kind of represents a rebirth or you know having a rebirth moment in your life. And that's what I feel here is that you're having like a rebirth. 
Uh, with the uh, Six of Cups, you have the Six of Pentacles. I love two sixes. If you've been watching me for a long time, and sorry, um, my camera might have just turned off, but uh, what I would say is if you've been watching me for a long time, you know that I love two sixes. To me, it says you're, it's basically just confirmation from your for your path. It says you're going in the right direction. You're doing the right things that you need to do. I would also say taking those small steps to get started on some sort of big dream is gonna be important for you. I feel like it's important for everyone right now just based off the astrology, but definitely important to you because like literally your whole entire reading is like saying work towards an achievement. Uh, the best way I can describe that world card, like what I feel, is that there's something you wanna bring down to earth. This card here represents as above, so below. And so I feel like you have a big dream goal wish or you're developing one this week and I feel you need to get started. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this card that says lessons in life will repeat until they are learned. So, you know, make sure you're learning your lessons. You have this media card that says get more publicity to increase your finances. We literally talk about this all the time with you because of Pluto and Aquarius. If I were an Aquarius and I basically am, I would be trying to get as much attention as I possibly could at this time. Of course, we're talking about positive attention. We are going to see both in the world over the next 20 years. People getting doing the right thing and people doing the wrong thing to get attention. Be the, a person who does the right thing, of course, and um, you know get as much attention as you possibly can with this energy. I do feel like some of you could be stuck in some sort of lesson here. We see that with the Eight of Swords. I'm going to try to get more detail on it, but you know what I would say is I feel like it needs to come to an end. You, you even have the world, which is like closing out a cycle. Uh, for some of you, I feel this could be with a person. It's like if you have a person you've been back with like multiple times, you know, that could be the cycle that needs to close. Um, you know, if you keep making the same mistake in business, I would be looking at like, why am I making this mistake or what is it? For some of you, what's popping into my head, what I'm getting is it's really like, a, a point that you need to push past. Like no, maybe normally you come up with an idea, you get started, you get excited, and then you stop, right? Can you push past that point and just see something a little farther through, if that makes sense? And that's kind of what I'm getting. You have the Ace of Cups, which is, again, your emotions overflowing, being very happy. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of reason to be happy for you this month. Uh, also, it could be a love offer coming in for you. A lot of people have had the Ace of Cups this month. So, you know, I don't know. It kind of just, maybe it's just like a really happy month for everyone. And you have the Two of Wands, probably your most important card here, I would say. Two of Wands says you have to leave a comfort zone. It says you have to take the lead. Yeah, he's standing at the top of his castle, like I said, and he needs to get out into the world. He needs to go on an adventure. He needs to look for something new. So, for a lot of you, I would definitely recommend like, you know, looking for something new, looking for something different or doing things differently than you have in the past, right? With the two of wands, you have the eight of wands, quick movement. Again, things are gonna happen quickly. Uh, I Like for some of you, it's just as simple as doing different things day to day, <laughs> literally. Like maybe you do have been doing the same routine for like 20 years. I would say like have it, come up with something different. Maybe uh, put your socks on first, then brush your teeth, right? Maybe brush your teeth, then put your socks on. Maybe you need to, uh, you know, drive a different direction of work. And again, this might all sound ridiculous, but again, when we work with the energy, we get rewarded. I like to remind people that most people just live their lives kind of ignorant of the the ways that we can work with the energy. So it doesn't matter how big or small it is, the thing that you do to work with the energy. I would just do it. It's gonna lead to success. And again, here, I kind of feel that maybe doing things differently or coming up with different ways of doing things would be very beneficial for you. And that's what I'd do. With the Ace of Cups, you have the Five of Wands. There's something here about adventure. Five of Wands, card of conflict and competition. Really, what I feel is going on here is that you need to go on an adventure. You know, this, this is a card I call Indiana Jones. To me, it kind of represents taking some sort of risk or, um, you know, I call it Indiana Jones because it's like a card of running through a crazy temple to get some sort of treasure. And so I feel like there could be treasure for you that exists in the world, but uh, it's almost like you have to, again, take the risk of getting out into the world or you have to take the risk of the world in the first place. We're gonna talk about that. With the Eight of Swords, you have the Eight of Swords. Something is stuck. For some of you, I even get like, for some of you, maybe you can't pick between two people in love, for example, with that three of cups next to it. This could say, pick no one, <laughs> pick, pick yourself, right? Didn't we say this with, um, I thought you had the nine of cups. Maybe that wasn't you, but it doesn't matter. Intuitively, I feel like this is saying, maybe you need to pick yourself for once. Maybe you don't need to be with someone right now if you're trying to pick between two people. Maybe you need to focus on becoming the best version of yourself first, and then you should go look for a person, right? You have this uh, Treasure Island card. This is coming up in the area of messages from your future self. 
Again, this is the card of as above, so below in this deck. I feel like you're manifesting things very quickly. I see a lot of success coming in for you, especially because you have this card and the world. We kind of talked about this at the beginning of the reading, and I see this as being very successful for you. I see a lot of abundance coming in for you here as well, Aquarius. I really like it. I feel like there's just like a lot of good stuff coming in here. I would follow your dreams as well. The world isn't really a card of your dreams, but it kind of is. This sorceress on the card, she has these two wands. One wand is kind of like the magician's wand. The other wand is more action, you know? So she can create worlds by not only using her powers of manifestation, but also through her actions. She uses both energies, right? And I think that's what's very important is kind of not saying like this side or that side is better, uh, but putting the two things together. It's like medicine. You know, again, I'm not a doctor. I'm just using this as an example. So you two police do not take this as medical advice, but you know, it kind of reminds me like in the future, I think that it's like, you know, it won't be re regular doctor medicine and, or it won't be homeopathic medicine or, you know, something else. It'll be the two mixed together, right? That's what I think the future is going to hold is that people are going to start realizing it's like that both sides of every single issue you can possibly imagine probably have something valuable about them, or there's probably something valuable in both sides of every single thing that you can possibly imagine. Like I said, but the two things just need to be mixed together or whatever. And I see a lot of that happening in the future. And um, I kind of feel like that's happening for you with the world. It's like, I think you need to use two skills, you know, two things to manifest something. Here you go. This is why I'm saying this. You have temperance, mixing two cups together <laughs> so that it can find success. This temperance angel. He's also standing on the earth and in the water. And so again, I kind of just feel that some of you need to maybe mix a little of your intuition or your dreams into the earth. Maybe you need to, by, by again, taking action, by taking the first small step towards some sort of dream. You have the Three of Cups here. Three of Cups is a celebration in happiness. So I do feel like there's a big celebration coming in for you here with the Three of Cups. Uh, I also feel this could be friendship. You know, there could be friends or people who are helping you in your life. And, you know, anything you can do to work with other people is just gonna be very successful. I see this, you know, I've, I've been saying this all the time that I think that really um, there's a lot of success for people in working together with other people, basically. Uh, we're gonna clarify through and let's see what is going on for you here. With the world, you have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is like lying, cheating, stealing, but, um, you know, some of you could have dealt with that. And again, maybe a lying, cheating, uh, stealing situation needs to come to an end. This is a card of doing things tactically. It says like normally the guy is stealing swords from the army in the background of the Seven of Swords. He's not just going to war with those people. He's stealing the sword so he doesn't have to go to war. So it's almost like saying your approach to whatever your goal, wish, or dream here with the world is, there might be a way that doesn't involve going straight at it. So I would just be open to other ways of doing things. With the temperance card, you have the queen of wands. Yes, I mean, everybody has to be bold, assertive, you know, blah, blah, blah. I, I, I've been saying it all year that fortune favors the bold. I'm telling you right now, Pluto and Aquarius, if I were you, uh, I would be as bold and assertive. Doesn't matter what gender you are. I would just go for things. She learns as she goes. She doesn't care. She doesn't need to know all the details. She doesn't need things to be perfect. If she wants to do something, she just gets started and she learns as she goes. Don't be afraid to learn as you go. It'll literally make you more successful than you ever have been. Uh, with the three of cups, you have the Ace of Cups again. Definitely could be a celebration in love coming in for you. Some of you could be finding love. Again, I feel, you know, some of you need to focus on yourself for a little bit of time, but there definitely could be a love um, coming in for you here. So love it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna pull um, five themes now. I wanna see what is coming up for you. You have two monthly cards, which is interesting. Uh, so you start off with this peacock. It says, beware of great pride. And it's like, uh, you know, I've been saying for all year as well. It's like, I think that, there's gonna be a lot of people that come into our lives and some of these people are gonna be real, some of them are gonna be fake and it's our job to be able to tell the difference. So trust the evidence, trust people's actions, not their words, right? You have this October card and this grapes card. It says time to go out and have fun. Maybe something happened in the past October, in October of 2022. I feel like this is saying you're past the energy. It's time to go out and do things that you enjoy. You have this July card as well, and you have this wheel card that says indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Yes, I think some of you, something happened in the month of July of 2022 as well, where maybe it was just a cycle or a cycle that needed to close, right? And so um, some of you could be, be thinking about this cycle. We're past all the retrograde energy for, for now. 
but we're still in the shadow of some. So you might be still thinking about the past here, but I think you need to close out these cycles. You have this horse card, which says short journey on it. I do feel like some of you could be making a short journey. Uh, you have the world card here as well. So any travel would be, I think it'll just be refreshing and good for you, especially if you're going on a vacation or something like that. And, you know, I think that'll be helpful. I also feel like you're building a lot of momentum, which I love to see with this card. Um, you know, the horses to me represent momentum, like building up, building up energy that carries you forward. And that's kind of what I feel like you're doing here. You also have this chair empty. It says someone is leaving your life. I feel like maybe someone left your life in July or October. Take it how it resonates. And I feel like you're just maybe moving forward from this situation here, Aquarius. Let's see what, I want to see what the next card is. Yeah, you have this jug card. It says lighthearted, carefree time. Maybe you're finally healing from it. You know, if someone left you over the summer or in October, whatever, it's like maybe you're finally healing from that situation. But this is a really good reading here, Aquarius. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time.